Hi guys, this is Gregor von Personos, and today I want to show you the smart tool in Studio One, which is a function that most beginners want to disable at first, but once they get the hang of it, they couldn't live without. Let me show you. Two of the most essential editing tools in Studio One are arguably the arrow tool and the range tool. And the smart tool is a two-in-one combination of that. When you enable it by clicking on this bracket symbol in the toolbar up here, the upper half will behave like the range tool and the lower half will act like the arrow tool. A lot of beginners, they want to disable the smart tool at first because they click in the upper area of the track trying to select it, expecting it to work like the arrow tool. But once they realize that they just have to select it in the lower track half or simply make the track height a little bit smaller, they immediately get the hang of it. Now let me show you a couple of the awesome things you can do with the smart tool. Use the smart tool in the upper event area to quickly create a range of events that you currently want to work on. Then hit Shift and S, which is the shortcut for zoom to selection. Then you can make all your edits in perfect horizontal and vertical focus. And once you're done, one more trigger of this hotkey takes you back to your initial zoom state. Splitting events couldn't be easier with the smart tool. There's no reason to go to the split tool anymore like in the old days. Just make a range selection in the upper track half. And once you're done, you just double click to split it. You can even select multiple ranges by holding shift as you create them and then double clicking will split all of them at once. Oh yeah, did you know that you can slip the content of your events around by holding option and command on a Mac or alt and control on a Windows PC? Super handy, you should try it sometimes. What you can also do is create your range again, then go to the lower track half and just drag the selection out. And as you can see, Studio One splits it for you and moves it right away. It couldn't be faster. Another cool thing with the smart tool is that you can select the range over all of your automations. Now you can simply move your mouse pointer to the automations until that bracket appears. And then by adjusting it up or downwards, you'll see that all the selected automations are adjusted accordingly. Super good. You can also use the smart tool to create a range really quickly that you want to have deleted. One more thing you can do with the smart tool is set a new playback point as you're already playing back. This is the point that your cursor will jump to after you hit stop, so you can use this technique to really quickly navigate your session. Notice how I've done all of these commands that I've just shown you without switching my editing tool once. As you can see, the smart tool is incredibly powerful. And those weren't even all of the commands that are possible. So definitely give it a try. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you got it, you will never want to edit without it anymore.